I just fed her a can of kitten food and uh, it's actually kind of dark out here. <laughs> Suns are going down. The sun is going down. Been bumped behind the horizon. So she was in front of the spooky um, plasma for, I don't know, eight hours with her chin on that thing. And I was thinking, if that do is doing anything, it's going to really clobber that cancer. Um, I got a saliva sample of her. And I'm running the spooky remote for on extra freaky it's called extra. Uh, it's feline cancer and I don't know, feline immunosubort for cancer. You know, or it's feline cat, right? And uh, I put Doc Willard water in her food, along with the carb carbon C60 olive oil and a vitamin E and a vitamin D. It was a kitten food. I just gave her a can of kitten food. Probably about 90 calories or so. 90 Somewhere on there. Uh, I'll try to give her more tonight. But uh, that kitten food went down pretty good, especially when I put the Willard water and it made a little more moisture content. Last night she was drinking water for about 45 minutes straight, <laughs> about 4 o'clock in the morning, from like before 4 o'clock in the morning to almost 4.30. So, I no, it was more than a half hour straight. She was pretty much drinking water. So... But I put her by that sink, and if she don't drink it, and I'm putting a splash of water on her face, she's not thirsty. Sometimes she is, sometimes she isn't. So, all right, poops. Still dingy in front from the food. <laughs> I wash her off in a washcloth, and I dry her off in a washcloth. I do it several times, but it stains on that fur. So, right, poops. Shine a light on her. Anyway, I'm not going to run the uh, biofeedback garbage. I'm just running the cancer remote. I don't trust that remote stuff too much, to tell you the truth. But, I mean, I'm not saying it don't work, but I don't think it's that strong. But it's better than nothing. It's better than it's doing. The plasma should be doing a job. And she was in front of that. I don't, God. Good eight hours or something. I mean, in front of it where her head was like right there within few inches of the damn thing so that thing works she should that's that cancer should be freaking on the way out I just gave her two more packs of live all labs of vitamin C um, she had CBD oil before the meal she had CBD oil I don't know a few droppers full in other words like I don't know <laughs> 20 drops of this stuff extra strength <clears throat> I gave her a full pack of life live on labs vitamin C now, it doesn't all get in her. I'd say half of it gets in her. Then I gave her, like I said, like the food with it, the uh, Doc Willard's, Dr. Willard's water in it. If you hear about that, they're from, like, uh, North or South Dakota. It's been, it's like a catalyst. It makes animals heal up faster. And, uh, if you, put, you soak seeds in it, the plants grow faster and hardier. I don't know, it's some kind of catalyst. Uh, it's not doesn't have a nutritional value, but I have the one with the trace minerals in it. So she got her trace minerals. Put the natural vitamin D, E, and vi vi natural vitamin D. Natural vitamin E makes tocopherols. The carbon C60 and olive oil. And the kitten food is really, it's like a, it's more densely packed with nutrition than regular adult cat food. So it's pretty strong stuff. So I only got one can, or I don't know, what is that, 90? 90, 90, well, say you don't quite have the whole can in there because there's a little bit on a plate somehow or in your fingers. 90 calories maybe, 85, 90. We do two more cans tonight or a can and a half tonight, get more than 200 calories. So, it's difficult to say what's going on with her, but it did seem, how fast did I feed her? I got that can in her in about kitten food. Probably 20 minutes or so. That was pretty quick. This It was going quicker. I'm not sure if it's because I had more water down with the Doc Willard's water. But you've even saw it. It's a faster way of doing it. So. But she's always been kind of a calm cat. She doesn't really calm. That is not Tom. Calm. C-A-L-M. She kind of like doesn't. She's not super active. She never really was. She just kind of like gets content to stay in one place. And sometimes she'll go somewhere, you know. 
it's very uh, people orientated too. So, wish I could say for a hundred percent certainty if she's everything's going to come out okay with this, but I feel a little bit better about it each day. To tell you the truth, there does seem to be some kind of improvement, especially when I look back. Obviously, the fur in her back, freaking <laughs> grew, grew and growing back like crazy. You'd hardly know You wouldn't even notice that was a problem unless you look close. It looks like um, it's not as thick where it was bald, you know, because it's brand new fur. If she got to be eating like gravy type food, I wouldn't even notice there was a problem with her because that's always. She's, I think she's always had this tumor on her tongue the whole damn time. It just wasn't growing to this size and like I said I think the carbon C60 with fuller rings was the thing that was keeping that tumor down when I stopped doing it it grew but she's getting that in her food she's getting more of that in her food than she ever had plus the, the vitamin C liposomal vitamin C and the CBD oil and now there's Dr. Willard's water and yeah if the HHO kit comes in I'll see about making some kind of uh, set. it's actually an automotive kit because if you buy the medical one, it's the same damn thing. The only thing they do is um, they package it in a box, more or less. And they'll put a gauge on it with an amp gauge, which I already have amp, extra amp gauges. Um, I ordered an extra bubbler for it, so it's going to have two bubblers to make sure the HHO is like really clean, clean when the final product comes out. Just be hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen. And I'm not sure how I'm going to work this, if I'm going to maybe make HHO water and dip dip a clean washcloth in it and wipe her down, or I don't know how, how I'm going to work this exactly. But supposedly if you run the HHO, HHO gas, and you put it say under her neck, it'll get, the hydrogen will actually get into the tongue itself and uh, knock out all the bad stuff. I wish you could tell me what's going on, but she doesn't seem, well, she wasn't hiding under the bed in the last freaking 24 hours. That's one thing. And it is, it is freaky that she um, stayed by the spooky rife that whole time. It's like almost like she's beginning to sense that, hey, I need to stay near this thing. I said they're they're uh they're better earthquake do cats and dogs are better earthquake detectors than the most sensitive scientific infra in uh, instruments out there. You know they know they know before it happens. Um, so maybe she's sensing something with those frequencies. I don't know. You know, but I got a feeling uh, these things are working. It's just not they're not working as fast as I like them to. I mean I wish she was I wish she was eating already. Um, so when the hell are they? So this is the 31st of August at nighttime, just about nighttime. Um, let's see. Uh, the first sign of her fur having an issue, which I didn't know she had a tongue issue, was August 3rd. When did I take her to the vet? Um, maybe a couple weeks ago now. Maybe the 15th or something like that. 16th. Yeah, I'd say it was a, more than two weeks ago now because uh, I think I took her on a Thursday. I think it was two weeks from Thursday. So, the 29th and go back 14 days. Yeah, it was probably around the 15th I took her. Yeah, that's when I found out she had the tongue tumor. You better not be going outside here, boobs. You stay in this little cat pen, booby. <laughs> I'm gonna watch you. I'm not sure if she's losing weight still, but ain't much I could do about that. I haven't feed her so much. <laughs> it's like she's good to go. But she does eat. So when I come back from the gym, I'll try to get at least a can in there, probably. I'd like to get two cans in here, but she might be a can and a half of kitten food. But if I got two and a half cans of kitten food, even figuring um, 
that would be 250 calories, even figuring some of it was on a plate or something. Or on my hands and I washed it off. Probably that that's not bad. That's not bad. Right, sweetie pie. We got our flags up there. See the blue? Blue sky, huh? And I don't think this hurricane is coming but <laughs> yeah, it's like nighttime. It looks it looks brighter in the camera. I don't think this hurricane is coming by uh here. I'm 60 miles from the Pacific Ocean. I hear it's uh, going, like I might see some wind, but it ain't going to be much. I mean, I don't think I'm going to see that much because I'm pretty far from the coast. I think, the, I think the, whole, the whole width of the southern part of New Jersey, like if you're going from, uh, I don't know, the, the water to Philadelphia, I don't even think that's 60 miles. So, like, I'm that far away from the ocean where I'm, I'm in central Florida. So, um, you know, this, this stupid hurricane ain't going to do that much, I don't think. So, anyway, yeah, see, it's, it's dark. So, get a little more light on there. <laughs> right, Snoopy? I forgot about the Doc Willard's water. I got like almost a gallon of that stuff. Forgot about it. I got so much stuff. I sometimes I forget. I forget to take it to myself. I get on a, I get on a kick and I do something, and I got so much stuff I just forget about. But I was busy as crap today. I was changed the headlight in a car, um, which I got to get new headlight assemblies for it. Actually. Because the stupid thing burned out after I changed it like a couple weeks ago. The water's getting inside the headlight assembly. So I got those new headlight assemblies coming anyways next week. They're not hard to change, but it's just more stuff to do. I put more tire bead balancing beads in my one of the tires on my 4x4. So you got to jack it up. You got to break the bead on the tire with the, with the manual tire changer. Put the beads in there. Inflate the tire. But, you know, I mean, you know, actually it takes more time to take out all the stuff to do the job because you got to pull out the air compressor you got to pull out the the, the the manual tire machine um, I don't know all these tools and stuff lug wrenches and junk I mean you just it takes more time to actually uh, what do you call it take out the tools and put them away than it does to do the job that's that's a disadvantage of being a home user because if you're a shop, you have all this stuff laying out on the wall, like in certain places, and you just go boom, 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 boom right? I got to keep putting away, like seeing certain things go on the shed with this shed, and this goes in this shed, this goes under the carport, boo, boo. So, but that ate up some labor. <laughs> but you know, it's more and more energy I'm using up, right? Yeah. Figure I'll take her out here for a little while. Let her feel good for being outside for a while gotta help that mental psyche <laughs> so enough of this she seems to be doing pretty good hope she's eaten by you know in the next few weeks on her own because uh, you know or maybe if I just put a big handful of food in my hand like that go she just eats it right off my hand or maybe I could just put a plate up to her chin and she eats it on her own Hope it gets up to that stage within a couple weeks. That's why I've been really hammering on with this live on labs vitamin C. I got how many packs that I I know I got a full box. I got a 30 and whatever's left in the other box, probably uh <laughs> where you going, huh? Come here, Snoops. Where you going? I probably got about 37 of them left. I think I got one on order. If I don't, I'm gonna get another one on order order another box of it and we'll have that herbal support it's special for kit cats it's um uh, there's two different things one's a liquid tincture and one's like a, a green powder you stick in the food i'll have that uh here pretty soon it's especially designed by a holistic veterinarian for cats with cancer giving immune support you can have that i personally think the spooky plasma should work. Should work. I just I think it's taking a longer time because it's really not designed to uh, 
knock out a whole tumor really fast. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's slowing the growth down and reversing it. Because I remember I told you that, that uh, in Royal Rife, when he was using it, the beam ray to knock out cancer with frequencies, um, he, uh, he would give the, give the mice and rats cancer, grow a big size tumor, then he would not use the beam ray to get rid of the tumor, he cut the tumor out, then the remaining cancer he got rid of with um, the beam ray frequencies. So I'm trying to get rid of a whole tumor with the plasma frequencies. But still, I think it is having an effect, so just I would don't expect it to work within two or three days. Obviously, it didn't work in three, two or three days. But, uh, but I'm also running, I got a saliva sample from her, and as long as she's drooling, I can just keep getting new saliva samples. Um, if she stops drooling, that means uh, there's something going on where she's just getting repaired. But uh, as long as she's got some saliva drooling, I could take that saliva. I forget how long that's good for. i got to look it up again. John White tells you, like, uh, certain samples are good for three days. Some are good for two weeks. Um, your fingernail clippings or the claw clippings are good for forever, supposedly. Because they're encapsulated DNA. Also, you can take a hair root with a bulb of the hair. I can do something. But if I gotta do a saliva sample, that's gonna be pretty easy to do. I'll just take a clean napkin and just <laughs> get it around her mouth and and you know what I was thinking is I'd like the saliva sample better than the cloth sample because it actually contains whatever is the microbe. So the microbe is gonna get uh, hooked into the machine basically. Get your ass back, I gotta get her out of here. <laughs> <laughs>